What's up? Greg Alba here. What it do, John Humphrey. I'm Perry Nemiroff. Yeah! Boom. Perry Nemiroff just came back from Star Wars Celebration. She yeah. literally just flew in and drove right here. In an X-Wing. That's crazy. <laughs> in an X-Wing, yeah. I wish that wasn't a lie. If you don't know Perry, I don't know why you don't know Perry, but Perry's pretty popular. She's on Collider videos. She is P. Nemiroff on Twitter and Instagram. And holy shit, she is, she's a TV Fights winner, right? I am a TV Fights winner, See? actually. See? I was about to, <laughs> to like, put myself down. I'm like, no, that's actually right. It's a good win. Hey, Perry. Have you ever seen a romantic comedy? I would say I've seen quite a few. Hey, Perry, have you seen The Silence of the Lambs? That is a big no on that one. You haven't seen Silence oh, of I the Lambs? Oh, I thought Lambs? you were going to say Silence of the Lambs is a romantic comedy. Of you course I've seen Silence see, of the Lambs. In acting, they teach you to listen and respond correctly. This is this is you why I'm not an picked actor. picked up my line. I'm not an actor. <laughs> Cinefix, bomb channel. I'm just going for it, guys. Do it. Drop by. I'm passionate. <laughs> Is that a good job, FBI agent? You get to travel around and stuff? Sometimes you do. Um, you know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one that's attractive. I graduated from UVA, doctor, and it's not a charm school. Clarice Starling wants nothing more than to make it at the FBI. <laughs> but so far, turning heads is easier than getting ahead. <laughs> jobs come up and I thought about you. Not a jog, really, more of an interest again. Who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Now, her new assignment might be biting off oh, well. more than she can chew. Crawford's very clever using you, pretty young woman. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. Can I speak with you? You know what you look like to me with your good back and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. Perhaps you'd care to lend us your view on this questionnaire. <laughs> Did you do all these drawings, Doc? All that detail just from memory, sir? Memory agent starting is what I have instead of a view. Oh, no. I tell you things, you tell me things. Not about this case, though. About yourself. Are you hitting on me, Doc? What you're doing, Miss Starling, is coming into my hospital to conduct an interview and refusing to share information with me for the third time. People will say we're in love. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Just do your job, but never forget what he is. And what is that? Jack Crawford is helping your career, isn't he? Apparently he likes you and you like him too. I never thought about it. Your first lie to me, Clary. Jody Foster. <laughs> <laughs> and Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> in the most romantic movie of the year. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. The Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> you mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. Just ignore him, he's not a PhD. Wow. Cinefix, man. Cinefix. Oh, man. I oh. need to watch more of their stuff. I like that. Oh, they have a whole trailer. There's, a, there's an eight bit one too. They also have oh. um they have like the best list video Collider doesn't do list videos, right? Not really. Alright. Cinefix has the best list videos. <laughs> 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 their list videos will be like fifteen greatest opening shots of all time. Like they do Ooh. these crazy details. Every list video feels like a film school episode in the same way. Hell yeah. So not only are they funny as fuck. But they also do these awesome list videos. It is incredible what a little change in music will do for something. Yeah, a little well, change and, in and some text yeah. and, and some voiceover. But they did it. They <laughs> pulled pretty, it off. Well, that's pretty look, clever. Looked like a weird '90s rom-com. Yeah, this is one of the maybe one of the most seamless I've seen these work out. Yeah. The least amount of like, oh, they're kind of trying. This one was like, no, oh, there are a lot of moments that lend themselves yeah, to a romantic comedy there's parody. So there, there's bad ones in the mix. No, I mean, not necessarily from them, but just like every now and again, you'll see a yeah, recut yeah. trailer and some are better than others. Everybody wants to mash up or recut a trailer. Yeah, because yeah. even the whole trailer, uh, when it said, whenever I hear the Silence of the Lambs, I have a very specific like feeling that kind of goes along with that title. But when they said Silence of the Lambs here, you're like, yeah, that sounds like a romantic comedy. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> one, of the, one of those like obtusely titled ones. <laughs> yeah. That would would have starred like Hugh Grant in an alternate universe. I don't remember all that dial uh, as much dialogue they had. I've seen the movie twice, but I was way way younger when I saw them. Mm. Uh, saw it. Saw it. 
The only saw it. I remember <laughs> exactly <laughs> where and with who I saw Silence of the Lambs for the first time. Oh yeah? yeah. Prove it. Was it an ex-boyfriend? No, it was with a group of friends when I must have been in middle school, so I was probably like 10 or 11, and I just remember we watched Silence of the Lambs, and it was the... F oh god, no. I'm not gonna tell the story. It's inappropriate. Pixar didn't happen. Uh, I, I what must do you have mean? been a little. Now you have to. Okay, I must have been a little older. Ten or eleven might be too young because I remember we like hid in her bathroom and we cracked open our first beer ever in nice. our lives. I just remember the specific Dude, friend. Nice. It was not ten or eleven. That's way too young. Don't listen to that. You should always share your first oh, beer boy. with Buffalo Bill. Am I turning really red now? I hope I'm not. Surprisingly not. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it's good. If there's any ten or eleven year olds out there, that was a lie. You must be much older. Yeah, was wait, that convincing? Six wow. <laughs> the only thing this trailer could have used for me was a little Buffalo Bill, but that's about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, with the talking part? Yeah, I'm, surpri I'm surprised yeah, they didn't use that stuff. Yeah, a little bit. I Just learned, it's there, I learned most of my dirty talk from Buffalo Bill. That's disturbing. About three lines is all I have. <laughs> it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much, and it usually doesn't work in the end. You know, you, you follow somebody, you deliver them a letter, you, you yep, say some yeah. Buffalo Bill <laughs> shit. That's that's a winning combination right yeah, there. If you ever do that to someone out there, <laughs> I will be following with a video camera. Actually, when I was like se 17 or 18, there were these people driving up, but I knew them. They were driving up a hill, and I was at the top of this, this house. This, this wasn't my house. I'm getting too off tangent here. All right. <laughs> but anyway, I did the whole like tuck it in thing, and then out in the middle of the street <laughs> just to freak these girls out. Never got anywhere with them. I learned a lesson that day. Why did, if when, you want to get women, you shouldn't do that. Was I there for the I don't think you were. I don't think I was there for this. No, it was just me and Brandon. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, it was a good right, day. Right, so. Oh, boy. <laughs> We've, Harry, we've, we've this was two years ago. I'm 20 yeah. years old now. <laughs> well, we've each told pretty awkward stories now, so I'm pretty sure this video is going to be your highest viewed ever, right? Uh, That's I a winner. don't think so. That's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the way YouTube is? Like? <laughs> anyway, yeah, guys, hey, hey, subscribe to Cinefix. Please do yourself a favor and subscribe to Cinefix. And you know what else you should do? Subscribe to the Real Rejects. <laughs> that was the drum roll, guys. Yeah, that was good. I can almost I hear it in my own I know where that was going. I was like, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Like, You're lacking out right <laughs> No, it's, I just made no noise to go with that. <laughs> John's reasons to Jerry on uh, Twitter and Instagram, yeah. social media manager of Blumhouse and the Real Rejects. And Perry Nemiroff is on Collider videos. I am. And she is awesome. She is intelligent. She knows her movies. She's like a you real fan. You saying fam. too many you, nice things. You know, I can't handle it. No, you know what fast. else is like, there's not the too many like female presence uh, on the YouTube movie community, I feel. I think like people like Brienne from Hit or Miss Movies and mm -hmm. people like you and Wendy are like, <clears throat> yeah. I you guys like are going to start a revolution. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. And follow her on uh, P. Nemiroff on Twitter and Instagram. There, you happy with your promotion, Perry? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs>